Hello friends and teachers, um, welcome to this video and before I tell you what this video is going to be about and what we are going to do, I think it's best for me to uh, introduce myself first. So my name is Sarah Virginia Simanjuntak and I am a junior college student in a tourism major in Universitas Indonesia. And this video is made to meet the end of semester exam score. But still, I hope this video will be entertaining and educational. So in this video, we are going to be making a yummy yet simple sandwich. Just for your information, according to Wikipedia, a sandwich is a type of food that is consists of vegetables, slice of cheese, and meat. That is placed between or uh, in the middle of two slices of bread and the ingredients are pretty simple which we are going to get into uh, in the next part so first of all we've got um, bread obviously we're gonna be using two slices of it but this one I've got the 15 slices and then the next one is gonna be ketchup it's a spicy ketchup, so not the tomato one. Um, I hope we're gonna survive this. <laughs> I hope it won't be too spicy. And here are the... Here's one slice of cheese. And then there's um, mayonnaise. And then some uh, smoked beef. And then here are some of the vegetables. Uh, the recipe I followed uses some onion, so... Yeah, this is definitely gonna be quite spicy and here are some lettuce and lastly a tomato so with that out of the way let's get to the cutting and cooking part but before that we should first wash our hands so in this part i will not be able to show a lot of myself but um, here we are gonna be uh, washing our hands First, let's roll up the sleeves. I think um, before cooking, you should uh, spend, I don't know, maybe like 10 seconds of washing your hands so that, uh, so that you make sure all of the bacteria is gone. And that's it. Now our hands are clean. Before we get to the cooking part, I do forget to mention that we have to prepare um, some butter to fry the um, smoked beef and our bread and some utensils if, um, which is necessary to uh, help us during the cooking process. Now, before the actual cooking part, let's um, proceed with the cutting the vegetables. First of all, make sure um, your workplace is tidy or you have uh, enough space. Well, uh, let's move some of these things away. And the butter. Let's move it away first so we have some space to work with. And well, because uh, the space that I've got right now is quite small, uh, so I think this will do. But again, make sure you have enough space to work with your cutting. Now uh, that we have the board here already, let's get ourselves some knife. I think this will do. And let's proceed with uh, the onion first. So first of all, I do have to apologize to you because um, honestly, I'm not a really good cook. So I believe this part of the video will kind of make you um, cringe. <laughs> so, but I will try to do my best to uh, cut this onion and the rest of the vegetables. So uh, bear with me.
but I think we've got uh, a little too much but yeah this is definitely gonna be spicy and now let's move on with the tomato but first let's, let's move the slices uh, onto plate so that it's more uh, so that we have more space to work with the tomato Alright, now let's cut this tomato uh, in half first. We are gonna be uh, turning turning it into um, four slices for each of the um, angles of the bread, uh, I suppose. We are gonna uh, use one of the halves. I think my mom is gonna use that one. I hope it's still usable. So that's that, here are the tomatoes that we are going to work with. Now for the salad, I think uh, I think we don't have to do a lot of cutting here, maybe just the brown. Actually, I guess you can kind of see that it's already darkening, so I think we are gonna use the smaller ones here and yeah here are the pieces that we will be working with and the rest we will keep it um, second camera again and now that we have uh, finished with our cutting let's move on to the cooking process or frying Now, as you can see, we have turned on the stove and let's get on with the uh, first our pan. We're gonna be using pan so that it will be easier to move around the smoked beef. Then I think let's uh, let it sit for a moment uh, so that it heats and then we will put on the butter. Uh, we don't have to wait for too long so now let's get our butter out and let's butter the pan yeah I definitely think that it's still uh, not as hot so I think we should have wait longer Now that the butter's already uh, quite hot, liquid, and and smells nice, uh, let's get on with the smoked beef and put it into the pan. And for this, we are going to use one slice of smoked beef. Again, since I'm not really a good cook, I don't know how long you're supposed to cook this, but I think we're not supposed to cook it until it's uh, very crispy, so maybe a little bit pinkish and still tender. Luckily, we have enough butter so that it's not as sticky. Again, I'm sorry if I'm doing anything wrong, uh, I'm not really experienced in this kind of st stuff, so first of all, I'm sorry chef. I will try to um, cook more though, and just, you know, like, be a better cook and everything. 
I think it's really fun. And then after this, we will proceed with the bread. And here it is. Now we are going to work with the bread. So first of all, let's uh, put on the butter on one of the side. Again, I don't really have a butter knife here, so let's work with the spoon. And for the other side, I think you can just uh, put the butter on the pan. And for now, let's sit. Uh, let's wait it sit for a few moments, and then we will flip it. with one of the bread then uh, I think I'm just gonna skip over for the other bread and then we can start with the plating and presentation now that we are done with all the ingredients let's start the plating first of all get the uh, toast bread and um, yeah, put it as the uh, base layer and then get the tomato on each of the angles uh, you can say and then we get the lettuce okay and then we will proceed with the um, the main star of the dish uh, the ham <laughs> And then uh, we will put the cheese. Let's unwrap this first. I did forget to mention that this is um, cheddar cheese. Let's put it like that. Okay, now after that's done, let's put on the mayonnaise and then after that, the ketchup. Let's cut this first. Okay, uh, I think that looks good, don't you think? And then after that, um, we'll put on the ketchup. Oh yes, I forgot the onions. I think that's all and now for the last uh, step let's close it with another bread and voila that's all I may have to cut it in a uh, half but I don't think I have a uh, sharp enough knife so I hope this will do and yeah I hope it looks yummy So, I know what you might be wondering. This sandwich is very yummy, isn't it? A lot of people will want to eat it. So, how much money will it sell for? Let's find out, shall we? So, uh, here is the pricing. And first of all, I would like to apologize again uh, if the camera is slightly shaky. And that's because I'm uh, holding it with my hand. But here it is, the breakdown of the prices of the ingredients. Um, we have here is the 
cheese which costs 11,000 rupiah and 11,000 rupiah is um, a package containing 12 slices of cheese so uh, I round it uh, and I divide it by 11 so we get uh, an estimation price of 1,000 rupiah for one slice of cheese which we use and then the next up is the bread we use two slices and the whole package uh, cost 15k or 15,000 rupiah which uh, contains 15 slices of bread so for one slice of bread uh, it costs 1,000 rupiah and then I times it by two because we use two slices and then uh, for the lettuce uh, in the traditional market, it costs 2,000 uh, 2000 rupiah which uh, in reality, it's uh, the, the lettuce is actually a lot for 2,000 rupiah but that was the uh, amount of lettuce that we use sorry, there's an ant <laughs> okay, so um, next up is the onion which costs 3,000 uh, rupiah for one onion and then uh, the tomato it cost 1,000 rupiah uh, for one tomato and then the ham um, I didn't count how much how much the package contains but I think it's 10 hams or 10 smoked beef so for one slice it's 1,000 rupiah and then uh, the total should be 10,000 rupiah for all of the ingredients then I use the uh, restaurant pricing to determine the the final price, uh, which takes thirty percent of the original uh, the original sum, uh, and then adds it by the amount that it was time timed by. So um, we have the original sum here, which is ten thousand rupiah, and then we add it by three thousand. Rupiah, uh, which is uh, the 30% of 10,000 and then we get 30,000 rupiah this is the price but I, I personally don't like the, the the number 13 so we kind of round it again uh, to 15,000 rupiah but either price is alright I think so yeah that is for the price of the sandwich if we were to sell it so I think that is all from me right now uh, in this video and here as the last look of my sandwich I did manage to add some decoration although it's not much but um, I hope it enhances its uh, appearance a little bit <laughs> and yes uh, thank you all for watching and I hope with this video you will want to eat some sandwich right now or maybe not but that's fine okay that's all from me uh thank you so much and have a great day